in midnight sleep of many a face of anguish, of the look at first of the mortally wounded, of that indescribable look, of the dead on their backs with arms extended wide. I dream, I dream, I dream. scenes of nature, fields and mountains, of skies so beauteous after a storm, and at night the moon so unearthly bright, shining sweetly, shining down, where we dig the trenches and gather the heaps. I dream, I dream, I dream. Long have they passed, faces and trenches and fields, where through the carnage I moved with a callous composure, or away from the fallen. Onward I sped at the time, but now of their forms at night I dream, I dream, I dream. Spirit whose work is done, spirit of dreadful hours, ere departing fade from my eyes your forests of bayonets, spirit of gloomiest fears and doubts, yet onward ever unfaltering and pressing, spirit of many a solemn day and many a savage scene, electric spirit that with muttering voice, though the wall now closed like a tireless phantom flitted, rousing the land with breath of flame while you beat and beat the drum. Now as the sound of the drum, hollow and harsh to the last, reverberates round me, as your ranks, your immortal ranks return, return from the battles while the muskets of the young men yet lean over their shoulders, while I look on the bayonets bristling over their shoulders, while those slanted bayonets, whole forests of them appearing in the distance, approach and pass on, returning homeward, moving with steady motion, swaying to and fro to the right and left, evenly, lightly rising and falling, as the steps keep time. Spirit of ours, I knew all hectic red one day, but pale as death next day. Touch my mouth ere you depart, press my lips close, leave me your pulses of rage, bequeath them to me, fill me with currents convulsive, let them scorch and blister out of my chance. When you are gone, let them identify you to the future in these songs. A sight in camp in the daybreak, gray and dim. As from my tent I emerge so early, sleepless. As slow I walk in the cool, fresh air, 
the path nearby the hospital tent. Three forms I see on stretchers lying, brought out there untended, lying. Over each the blanket spread, ample brownish woolen blanket, gray and heavy blanket, folding, covering all. Curious, I halt and silent stand. Then with light fingers, I from the face of the nearest, the first, just lift the blanket. Who are you, elderly man, so gaunt and grim, with well-grayed hair and flesh all sunken about the eyes? Who are you, my dear comrade? Then to the second I step. And who are you, my child and darling? Who are you, sweet boy, with cheeks yet blooming? Then to the third, a face, nor child nor old, very calm, as of beautiful yellow-white ivory. Young man, I think I know you. I think this face is the face of the Christ himself, dead and divine and brother of all. And here again he lies. Long, too long, America. Traveling roads all even and peaceful. You learn from joys and prosperity only. But now, oh now, to learn from the crisis of anguish, advancing, grappling with direst fate and recoiling not. And now to conceive and show to the world what your children on mass really are. For who except myself has yet conceived what your children on mass really are? Long, too long, America. Traveling roads all even and peaceful. You learned from joys and prosperity only. But now, oh now, to learn from the crisis of anguish. Advancing, grappling, with direst fate and recoiling not. And now to conceive and show to the world what your children on mass really are. For who except myself has yet conceived what your children on mass really are.